this is the Provoke Prawn, and did you know that you can improve the Razer Viper V2 Pro with an additional purchase? Now, this is already a fantastic mouse for a number of different reasons. Weighing in at just 58 grams is one of the lightest mice around. It also has some other awesome specs, including a 30,000 max DPI, optical switches, Gen 3 Razer's optical switches packed inside there, that are guaranteed up to 90 million clicks, has 750 IPS and 70 Gs max acceleration, and it's comparable with the Logitech Superlight, which I've done a video on recently to compare these two. They are both fantastic mice, but the Viper V2 Pro is potentially awesome for a number of different reasons. Now, as standard, this has a 1000 Hz polling rate, which means it has a fast connection to the PC. You could upgrade it by slapping on some grip tape, but what you can do is make it even better with an additional purchase. Now, this is an extra cost, but this is Razer's Hyper Polling Wireless Dongle. This is a dongle that's designed to work with this mouse and some other yet to be announced mice that are coming soon and allows you to improve the mouse by increasing the polling rate. So as standard, the mouse has a thousand hertz polling rate, but with this dongle connected, you can get up to 4,000 hertz. That obviously reduces the click latency and lowers the, that to improve the overall performance and the connectivity to your PC. Now, Reza says with some data that I'll link in the description, but essentially, the dongle gives you a much more solid connection. 4000 hertz polling rate, you can get a 0.511 millisecond click latency from the mouse. That is basically halved from the 1 millisecond that you get with a 1000 hertz polling rate, and even better than other mice, which Razer claims have 1.4 millisecond with 1000 hertz polling rate on wireless mice. So you're getting a lot better performance out of this. Now, this dongle essentially replaces the standard 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle that you get with the Viper V2 Pro. And you can see it's quite a bit larger, but the logic is basically the same. You will need your USB-C cable in order for this to work though, because obviously the standard dongle plugs into your PC. This dongle you need to plug in using the USB-C cable. Now this has several advantages in that this dongle also has an LED indicator on it. So when you plug it in and load up Synapse, you have to go through a connection where you're basically pairing the two devices. You put your mouse into pairing mode and then you connect up the dongle and then you can use it. This dongle is then placed on your desk and you'll see it as a rubberized underside so it doesn't slip around. And it has an LED indicator on it. It'll let you know when the connection is happening, but it also can be changed so that the LED indicator will let you know when your mouse is running low on battery, which is pretty neat as a nice addition to that. And you can also tweak some other settings that I'll show you in a second. The other benefit of this is because that dongle is plugged into the cable, you can essentially put the cable on your desk within range. And then when your mouse is running low, you just unplug the dongle and plug the cable into your mouse, charge your mouse back up until you need to, and then unplug the cable, plug it back into the dongle, and then it will automatically reconnect. And then you can carry on using your mouse with improved performance. Now the 4000 Hertz polling rate will use more processing power on your PC, but it does give you a faster connection, which should give you the edge theoretically in competitive games. So here we are in Synapse and you can see there are two different devices listed. So you have the mouse as standard and the hyper polling dongle as well. Now if you click into the dongle, you'll see you can't really do much in here in terms of what you can change, but you will notice that the in indicator that I was talking about, connection status is standard, it will show you a white indicator. Click on the, that and that will show you a battery status when green 100%, yellow 66, orange 33 and red is zero or showing you it's getting low or you can have battery warning only. So it will be blinking red when the mouse is nearing charging. A very nice additional thing to show off and to use. But if you go back into Synapse and then click on the mouse and then go into performance, you can see that your polling rate options have increased up to 4000. You will notice that it says high polling rate will call more processing power, which may reduce frame rates when playing CPU bound games. So that's worth bearing in mind. You can go up to 2000 if you want. So you can go between those two. Obviously 4000 is the best performance. But one of the things that you can do, which is also potentially useful, is that you can customize. So you could set up, for example, to have a new profile. So we can add a profile in there. We can create a performance calibration so it's 4000 hertz. And then you can go into your profiles and you can link games. So, for example, we can change this so it's 4000 hertz. And then we'll change this one so it's 1000 hertz. And that way, if you have a CPU bound game that you don't want to cause your system to lag, 
you can switch between them and then you can link a specific game. So let's just choose ready or not for this purpose. So we're now going to use 4000 hertz on ready or not and that will automatically switch to that mode when we launch that game. And maybe we want to change games. So let's say No Man's Sky, we don't really need 4000 hertz. So we could just set it to go to 1000 hertz instead. Uh, obviously not as fast clicking you won't need click latency in there too much it's a bit more of a relaxed game but if you want to play ready or not or something more serious so we can get in here and we could obviously add modern warfare as another option you can pop those games in and then it'll switch to those modes so you can use some optimization logic to that but there you go a interesting way to upgrade the mouse and get a better performance out of it and a really fantastic mouse Yes, it's a bit more expensive now with that additional purchase. It does give you a much faster response and a lower click latency. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.